Welcome back to KB Living. My name is Keith and uh, today we're working on this 2003 GMC 2500 HD and like most typical GMT 800s the frame is starting to rot. I'll bring in here a little closer and let you see but to give you the rundown nitty-gritty fuel tank support bad it's not doing the supporting anymore the shock mount over here is shot I mean I, it's so thin I can bend it by hand the fuel tank mounting bracket for the strap almost gone spare tire cross member is also not very good I have to do some more investigating here to see if it can be saved but basically this sits in here like so and then there's a band of metal that wraps around the back side of this mount because this is bolted on with those bolts from the factory at GM and what we're gonna end up doing is we have to cut this off whether we use this cross member or we buy a new one I'm not sure yet I have to do the pricing but uh, we'll end up bolting back on probably with grade 8 or 10.9 hardware probably that way it can be removed again if necessary. I hopefully will never have to do it. But what's happening is that the rust, it's rusting in between that plate and the frame rail. And what's happening is it's rusting and it's starting to spread open. Both here and then there's also a piece of steel. Okay, so it is a U shape. And it comes out less on the top rail than the bottom. But it's basically a U shape. And that it's some type of stiffener what I can gather and that also is rotting in between the frame rail and that piece of metal so those are gonna have to be cut out and I'm gonna have to make new ones I don't think that's something I can buy it might be so I might be able to order that as well which would save some money I imagine they're like 25 bucks a piece no big deal I mean this is very very typical on these style trucks these the like I said the fuel tank support goes and on the 1500s it's actually two tubes back in here but on a 2500 it's this style so what we're going to do today is we're going to take off the bumper which i need a new bumper it's, it's rotten through you know we're going to take that off probably going to take the hitch off we're going to take the fuel tank out i believe that's it for today so as you can see there as you can see there, there's not much left of that shock mount. So we're going to end up replacing that whole cross member. Oh, we have to drop the tank. And then over there, right there, is the bump stop bracket. You can see how it bends out. This here is starting to bubble out on both sides. And it's the bump out for the bump stop. So I'm, this might be sold as a piece. This piece, the fuel tank bracket, or the fuel tank cross member, that comes as a whole piece. So we're gonna end up cutting that out. And then the other thing, this one seems okay. So we're gonna let that one go. And you can see right there, it doesn't look great. And you can see what I was talking about here, how that, this is a piece of metal that is actually bent around the back side of this and sits in between the frame rail. I, I don't know why, but it's probably to put some stiffness in it because it is also connected to the leaf spring shackle mount, which I am hoping it is pretty eaten in there, right there. So I might end up having to put a stiffener plate in there just to be safe because a lot of this is gone. So I may end up having to run a piece of steel just to stiffen that up again, which is no big deal. And then I have to take, this is your splitter for your tail lights. Take that off and I throw that wire harness back in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm get, I just ordered it today. It's a wet sandblasting kit for a pressure washer. 
and it's gonna pressure wash and sandblast at the same time. It's less dusty and doesn't make such a mess. And if you use playground sand, you can just sweep it into the yard and be done with it. And it's a lot cheaper. So we're gonna end up doing that. Then I can actually see where the damage is. That's basically what we have to do. And like I said, this is very common. So I just wanted to make this video for others to not be intimidated. Now disclaimer, I am a welder by trade. So I know how, I know how to weld and fabricate metal and stuff. So I wouldn't say I'm a beginner and I wouldn't say I'm a professional. I'm somewhere in between. But I think somebody with enough time and know-how can do this, no problem. But enough of me talking, let's get ready and get to work. All right, so we're back. First thing we're gonna do is drop this fuel tank. I already disconnected the fuel lines, pretty easy. They're just quick connect, you just squeeze them and then they come on and off. And then I'm, I think this tank is empty. It's pretty close to it at least. At least that's what the gauge says. Fuel pump is brand new, so that's nice. I think it's a 15 millimeter. We'll find out here shortly. And I think these hook up somewhere down there, but we're gonna drop the tank a little bit and I'll take a closer look. And uh, when you're working on these old rusty rigs, make sure you got a pair of safety glasses because you do not want rust in your eye. Okay, here we go. It's a 15 millimeter. I'm gonna put my earplugs in and get some PB blaster. I should have done this yesterday, I was not thinking. So I sprayed this stuff down. This one is under the cross member here. So I got this one started. I'm gonna run it back in a little bit. Back out. Back in. Back in. Oh, yeah. All right, I got that one pretty loose. Let's go for the second over here. So much crap in here. Unbelievable. Good. I'm gonna take this bolt out, see if I can get it dropped down some more. Oh, okay, that one was loose as well. All right. Mm-hmm. Hey. Oh, there's some fuel in there. That's good. Should have kept that jack a little closer. Uh, oh, it's right out of my reach. Crap. I'm replacing these fuel lines, so I don't care too, too much. Oh, there it goes. I'm trying to set this back down a little bit. There we go. Okay. Almost forgot about this ground strap. And this vent tube, a 10 millimeter on the ground strap. Oh, it's just gonna round off. Okay, well, didn't want it to have to come to this, but I guess it's gotta. Vice grips for the win. Vice grip garage will be proud. Six millimeter, might have one of those. All right, we got the ground strap off. Now the only other thing holding this tank on is the quick connect fuel lines back here. So we're gonna have to take them off anyway. Get my trusty needle nose. Reach on in there. He didn't believe me about the rust. The fuel line literally just Came apart. Great. It was leaking. Oh, I brought a pair of gloves home. I'm not even using them. <sighs> yeah, that's the way it goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. I guess I might as well just 
break this one off too. Oh, I got fuel. Oh, no, okay. Ah, oh, not my driveway. We have some EVAT thing here. I don't know why the easiest one is the hardest one to get off. After many, many moons, I got that piece off. So now we're gonna, I jacked up the frame a little bit so I could sneak this tank out of here. Okay, sure. Seems like there's some fuel in here. Hindsight being 1540, you didn't need to take these off because they connect down here. And for those of you wanting to buy me a gift, a rapid pump floor jack would be amazing. I feel like we caught this frame in a good time. I feel like the couple, like a year or two and this thing would have been not really savable. We can definitely save this, so that's good. But there's a ton of rust. A lot of weight reduction. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. Definitely need a new cross member. Big old hole in there. That's cool. Man, you guys gotta see this. If I took a hammer and smacked right there, it would bend in half. Yeah, look at that. It's weight reduction at its finest. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. So I definitely am replacing that cross member. So it looks like all three of these cross members are gonna need replaced. This one I just saw has a hole in the side. We've seen this one. This one has a big old hole in the center. So next thing is let's take off this bumper. Okay, so we're gonna pull the harness out of this. Alright, so I got all that wire loom back up under the truck and I ended up taking these guys out. Let's probably get new ones. Probably find them on the jungle website pretty easy. So I'm gonna start taking this bumper off. I'm gonna take this, there's a bolt here on the uh, leaf spring shackle mount. I'm gonna take that out. It's pretty rusted out, so give it a good soak. Give a lot of all this stuff a good soak. Might end up doing a custom bumper for this, I don't know. Wait, he's trying to steal my spotlight. See, we ain't get this hitch off yet. This thing might be savable. Next thing is we gotta take off these uh, top of the line tailpipes. Just a couple bolts. Looks like a 15. That about does that. 
All right, sweet. Good. Got uh, some stuff I wanted done. Got it done today. One step closer to getting this frame cleaned up to see what kind of damage is actually done. Ow! Woo! Oh, I hope I got my tetanus. You know what? I don't think I need those brackets either. Well, you know, breaking it's better than nothing. Let's go for the other. All this stuff was like aftermarket hanger stuff, so I'm definitely not using that again. Nice. Might be a job for the vice grips. That's a good bite. All right. Sweet. Do I have a mess here or what? I'll tell you. Well, that's what we're gonna do it for the night. And I think for this episode, it was pretty long. I uh, hope you enjoyed the first part of this series. Well, now that I know I need all three of these uh, cross members, I'm gonna give my buddy a text, see if he can order me some in. And then I have a few more things to take off up there. I gotta cut those mufflers off because they're junk. And I have, tonight I gotta clean the rest of this up. This is gross. And kind of get my bearings in order. Next episode, we'll be cutting these cross members out. Getting the new ones mocked in, maybe. Be cleaning up this frame, hopefully. And then we'll be going from there. We are one step closer. And I appreciate you guys watching. So make sure you like and subscribe. And leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys next time.